and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. He stood up immediately and, then they, and waited on them. She did. At sunset, all the people who were sick of various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Also, demons came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. He rebuked them, did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went over to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to provide to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To other towns, also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because it was for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, um, yes, uh, we hear the Alleluia verse. It reminds us what we heard on Monday, right? Uh, he sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, proclaim liberty to captives. And then we are in Luke. And Luke, when he begins his public ministry, that should be reads about from Isaiah. And today we see it then moving into his public ministry where he, you know, is actually doing the things he's saying. Healing and delivering and uh, lifting up the poor and all of those kind of things. So, um, and so you know, the crowds were coming to him, working hard, curing and helping. And then, you know, of course, after that, you know, he, he went to the mountain to pray for, to a deserted place before he moved on to the next place. You know, a lot of this, what Jesus is doing is healing ministry, healing ministry. And uh, when you think about the people doing healing ministry in the hospitals, people who are the doctors, the nurses, and the, uh, the ones that are there, you know, uh, caring for the people, especially the ones with COVID and all those things. And, you know, Jesus, his healing power is with them. And uh, the whole thing about God's with them, uh, Jesus is powerful, Jesus heals, and then he gets rest too. He needs rest too. These people, the, the great hard worker people in the healthcare field, pray for them. God helps them out, you know, when, when, keeps them from burning out, and gives them some rest, having a sense of knowing God is with them. With confidence in, in God and Jesus' healing power to pray for the needs in our work. Palace members, in proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may God grant them wisdom in working for peace among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel alone, and those who have no one else to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, <clears throat> excuse me. For the community of faith gathered here, may God draw us closer to one another through intercessory prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, and today for Arthur Bogart, marked with the sign of faith, May they rejoice in the peace reserved for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died from the coronavirus and those who have recently died, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any intention you wish to voice at this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Here to answer our prayers, Lord, amid the uncertainties of this world, help us know you're with us and that we 
to focus on you and you're hearing, answering us, being with us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness and this bread we offer you. Through the earth, the work of human hands, and come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you. You, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine, and we offer you the fruit of the love, the work of human hands, and come our spiritual drink. May my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts of your mercy, O Lord, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, grant, we pray, we may extend your charity to all through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, for by cross and resurrection you set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son, whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity with Francis our Pope, Lawrence our Bishop, Bishop Donald, bishops, priests, deacons, the entire people who gain for your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire us in words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ. And at his command, may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, we may come to an eternal dwelling place, live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Mark and Saint James, with all the saints we shall exalt and praise you, through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by his teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Amen. We share a sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord,
Let us pray. Pour out your grace of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, on those you have replenished with the one bread of heaven. Refresh us, we pray, with the delights of perfect charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight with the Holy Hour tonight at 6 o'clock uh, and confessions also at 6 o'clock. Please join us to keep praying for the needs of the world, uh, our country, our local local area. So lots of things to pray for. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God's blessings upon you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Have a good day. Thanks, God. Thank you.